With sticks in hand and standing guard to the lush green forest, women of Niagara district are an epitome of protecting and fighting for what is rightfully theirs. The women have been at the forefront of protecting their forests since the 1980s, but it took a decade-long struggle to finally claim their rights under the Forest Rights Act, which was enacted in 2006. On 2nd November 2021, 24 villages in the district received 14 community rights and community forest resource rights titles. Shashi Pradhan, the block-level women federation president of Ranpur, said, We feel enactment of Forest Rights Act was a reward for our long years of efforts. We have been conserving the forest since 1984. Our forest is our livelihood, food, medicine, fresh air and life. Our forest is the source of everything we need for survival. So, it is our duty to protect and conserve it. The wait was long, the struggle was longer, but it all fell in the right place eventually. We were unaware of Forest Rights Act and our rights over our forest, but after Vasundhara's intervention, we learnt about it. We were resolute to claim the rights. So, I mean, their whatever equipment will be, basically, they will take them all. And they will return them when they go out of the jungle, without them. How fine is it? How fine is it? For 10 long years, we would go from pillar to post asking for what is rightfully ours. But there was complete lack of cooperation, yet we were determined not to give up. Finally, that is how we are here today. One tree will help an individual, but the fact is you will have to plant green areas in city. Those green areas will also be very important for drainage points in cities because you also have a situation where today uh, you get rain and you get floods. And barish ni hoti baad aati hai. And Bangalore ko dek lijiye, aap kisi bhi shahar ko dek lijiye, barish ni hoti hai baad aati hai. Uske do karan hai, ek to yehi hai ki ham log bhul gaye hai ki ham log ko baad ke saath, barsha ke saath kaise jina hai. Receiving titles after the ardour struggle is significant as it recognises the critical role that the women in this district play in protecting and conserving their community forests. The practice of conserving and protecting their forests from any illegal felling of trees is being actively undertaken in at least 60 villages of the district. The dense forests of Niagara are rich in varieties of tubers, fruits, medicinal plants, bamboo and sal trees. Years ago, illegal logging and smuggling was rampant in these areas. However, since the formation of women-led forest protection committees and patrolling protocols, the instances went down drastically. <laughs> कहा है कि हम अपने ग्रीन वेल्थ बढ़ाएंगे और उससे हम लोग हमारा जो प्लान है इंडियन गवर्नमेंट का जो प्लान है उसके अंदर है कि हम पेड़ उगाएंगे जिससे हमारी सिंक्स बढ़े एंड वी हैव वी कैन मीट आर टारगेट दैट वी हैव गिवन टू द ग्लोबल कम्युनिटी अंडर एनडीसी उस चर्चा में मैं घुसूंगी नहीं क्योंकि उसमें बहुत बहुत और चीजें हैं सिंक्स हैं मगर उसका बेंचमार्क नहीं है ये नहीं पता कि कब से बढ़ेंगे क्या बढ़ेगा वो दूसरी चीज है मगर the fact is forests are a very important part of the climate change story going forward these villages have specific forest management and protection committees for this purpose of these Four villages, which have also received titles under Forest Rights Act, have an all-women forest protection committee. One of the villages, Sunita Pradhan, said, Earlier, the forests were managed by men, but this led to more conflict and chaos 
as men from outside would enter our forests for illegal activities would indulge in physical violence to mitigate such situations we the women folk took charge we guarded the villages by patrolling on a routine basis four women would guard the forest at a time we would snatch away the weapons of men who would come to fell our trees and also confiscate their vehicles and other equipment we would release them only after they paid a fine and committed that they wouldn't venture into our forest or harm it at any cost Kodarpalli and Sindhuria villages which have received joint titles surrounded by the Sukaramala reserve forest the villages are inhabited by scheduled caste and scheduled tribe communities who jointly protect and manage the forests there is a question of minor forest rights there is a question of major forest rights and this is not going to be an easy story and it is not going to be an uncomplicated story there is also going to be many aspects of it to say aapne jungle ke rights to de diye fir logon ne jungle kaat di aapne rights to de diye magar unko ye nahi pata ki kis tarah se jungle ugaye aapne rights to de diye magar ab jungle ug bhi gaya magar unke paas ये नहीं नॉलेज है टिम्बर मार्केट तो आप कंट्रोल करते हैं स्टेट फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट कंट्रोल करता है हाउ कैन द पीपल ग्रो ट्रीज कट दम एंड सेल दम व्हेन द मार्केट इट सेल्फ इज नॉट डीरेगुलेटेड द मार्केट इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय द फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट एंड द फॉरेस्ट डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन बट देर आर गोइंग टू बी मेनी ऑफ दीज इशूज but to me and i'm really i hope you will at the end of it share my excitement that there is an enormous opportunity here to be able to do that what i started of that win win ki aap ek taraf se jahan community ke resources hain unko us pe haq mile usse uska benefit mile dusri taraf se if you can grow this movement you actually can think about growing it to become a movement which becomes the best way to be able to sequester carbon dioxide put money in the hands of communities and also build resilience of communities so that they do not have to migrate the forest protection committee is selected by the gram sabha it meets once a month to discuss any issues the women also protect their forests from any incident of forest fire We have never reported any major incident of forest fire as we ensure to create fire lines before the dry summers to prevent any incident of fire another villager anita pradhan said the forest protection committee also lays down strict guidelines for the usage of wood from the forest the wood can be used for construction or repairing of house agricultural needs and common utilities but with prior permission from the committee cutting of live trees is strictly prohibited non timber forest produce can be availed by all villagers for both personal and commercial use but villagers from outside are not allowed to collect non timber forest products from inside the forest boundary और अगर लकड़ी है अगर इसमें चीजें हैं जिससे काट के लोगों की आमदनी बढ़ सकती है तो आप क्यों बचा रहे हैं किस किस कारण से बचा रहे हैं बोझी भाई निश्चय कहते कि इतने वर्ष है आप मैंने जंगल टा कहीं बचा लकड़ी काटी की जब लोग से लकड़ी नहीं की बिक्री करेंगे अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस Natives of Kodurpalli and Sindhuria also reaped the benefits of harvesting cashews for the very first time in 40 years after getting titles under the Forest Rights Act. They now auction their cashews cultivated over an area of 282.67 hectares of forest land. Initially, the saplings were planted by the forest department in 1980s and taken care of by the villages but they were never provided a share from the profits generated by the sale of cashews there is an opportunity here which we must not lose once again 
either out of cynicism or out of the fact that it is very difficult to give control of natural resources to people. Bureau the bureaucracy, the government, and rightly so. I am not saying anything wrong. They are thinking that if we have given the land in their hands, they will cut it. They will cut the land. I am listening to Chhattisgarh and you will tell me that this is also happening. The land is being given, the rights are being given, but there are no rules on it, no controls on it. And as a result of it, it could just become a populist program and could end up destroying forests. But, you can also hear that it's a lot of potential. If you don't make the rules so much, that the jungle has been given, but people can't see it. You also have to do this, if you give the rights to people, then you also have to do it. Some of the time, the market has to open up. Today, we have to liberalize the market, we have to talk about liberalization, we have to talk about deregulation, हम ये कभी नहीं कहते कि जो इकोनॉमी सबसे गरीब की है वो सबसे अन डीरेगुलेटेड प्रमिला प्रधान रेसिडेंट ऑफ द विलेज सेड वी नेवर जनरेटेड एनी इनकम फ्रॉम द कैशू प्लांटेशन ऑल द रेवेन्यू डायरेक्टली वेंट टू द गवर्नमेंट एंड वी वर ट्रीटेड एज डेली वेज लेबरर्स द राइट्स ओवर सेल ऑफ कैशू इज ऑल्सो अ रीजन why our titles were delayed for more than 10 years. After receiving the titles, the forest is legally and rightfully ours and so is the revenue from the cashew. The residents now earn between Rs. 2 to 3 lakhs from the sale of cashews annually. <laughs>